Hey, listen, um, you were mentioning that you had a bit of a thing with your neighbour the other day when the horse doing a massive horse stump on your uh, on the path, and then and then him, your neighbour kicking it onto the lawn, onto my lawn. And uh, it's interesting because I, I've had a bit of a thing with my neighbour. Oh, a romance? Uh, no, 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 not a not a romance. Weirdly, a I, have, I have actually had a dalliance with a neighbour before, yeah. but not on this occasion. Jump the fence, did yeah, you? Yeah, the grass is always greener. Yeah, you know what I mean on the yes, other side. It and, is. Uh, but anyway, he's an older fella. He's oh, quite you old. had a dalliance with an older fellow. Well, no, I, I didn't have a I didn't have a dalliance with him, but he's he's been struggling physically. He's got a oh, really crooked yeah. back, and he's got a limp on on his leg. How old are we talking? I think he's about maybe in his seventies. Right, a limp on his leg. Yeah, a limp on his leg, and and a bit of a dodgy back as well. Oh, yeah. And his lawns are getting out of control. And he's one of those guys that's very particular about his garden. Right. And I said to him, I said, you know, over the fence, I said, look, Ron, uh, mate, you want me to do. Do your lawns for you, mate. Right. Uh, because you're obviously in a lot of pain and blah, blah, blah. And he said, oh, I'd really appreciate that, Jace. Thank you very yeah. much. That was, you know, and it's a he nice thing. He sounds pretty healthy. Well, he, he sounds pretty healthy. Oh, that but, was your voice, though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, it was me playing him. Yeah. Um, and I thought, you know, we, neighbours need to look out for each other, particularly they in times do. like this. And I thought it's a nice thing for me to do, you know what I mean? Yeah. I can, I right. can do this job for him. He's yeah. obviously incapacitated yeah. at the moment and therefore it's something I can help him with so I mowed the lawns mate it's I very ch- neighbourly of you can I just say that yeah thank you yeah. thank you well that was the, the intention behind it um, then I trimmed I did all the trimming of the lawn as well yep. got the weed whacker out and yep. did all the weeds around the place uh, did a bit of gardening in his veggie patch beautiful little veggie patch oh, he's what's got he there. running oh you know he's, he's got an all year round sort of veggie patch right. he's, he's a real green finger um, so I, I uh, what's his thumb like? Uh, yellow, I think. He's, he's a got big, a yellow thumb. He's a heavy smoker as well. So, um, so yeah, I, I did all that, and I was happy to do it, mate. Was happy to do it. And good on you, man. Let me just say, um, good on you, because all thanks, too often man. in this day and age, I think people sort of they forget about their neighbours, and um, you know it can be pretty lonely for especially the elderly in our community who have contributed so much to this country and then for some reason they just get forgotten yeah so, totally man. kudos totally kudos um but anyway so the only thing that sort of upset me a little bit is i sent him my invoice and uh, he still hasn't paid it and, and he was sort of he kind of had the audacity to the query he said oh, i i wasn't expecting an invoice i thought you were just and i'm like mate time is money ron um, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. and bloody hell, I cut off what I'd normally charge. Yeah. I charged him ten bucks left, so it was one eighty. It would have been two hundred had I been charging him the normal sure. amount, Chris. What's sure. your hourly rate? Oh uh, fifty bucks an hour. Yeah. Uh, but I gave him a pensioners thing because he's old. Right. Um, is this going through the books, though? So you got GST on this, the whole thing. It's all legit above board. Well, no, I was hoping it was going to be a cashy. Uh, so that's the that's the other thing, too. Well, I said, look, if you make it a cashy, I'll make it 150. You know, 150, and then we'll call it square. And he's right. and he's kicking up a stink. It's like, Mate, that's... Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest with you, you've, you've had a shocker there. Yeah. You know, if you're going to... You know, if you need it to be a cashier, you don't ever write an invoice, Jace. Don't oh, ever right. leave a yeah, paper no trail. Good point. Because if he decides to take that to the tax man, you're up against it. Did you get? It, did you put your finger in his face? In his eye, yeah. Um, and you know what really pissed me off too is that because I said he had a limp in his leg. Well, all of a sudden was in the other leg oh. when I came to get the cash. All of a sudden he had a limp in his other leg. You try and help some people, Mike Minogue. Yeah. <coughs> hey. What? That was my, I just had a spray of brave face, cool head. Uh, plenty more coming up uh, after five o'clock.